Hello all and welcome to my channel, Rover Turbo. In this video, we're going to be unboxing a Chinese cylinder head, which is behind me in this box. It's literally just been delivered. This particular cylinder head is a VW uh, 2 litre 1.8 TSI cylinder head. So basically the, um, the EA AAA engine. So pretty much everything that 2 litre turbo in the Golf GTIs, um, anything petrol turbo from 1.8 to 2 litre. There are a few variances, uh, but we're just gonna go through this particular one. Now, if this is actually relevant to anybody for this video, I don't wanna be boring, but I'm replacing this. I bought this Chinese cylinder head off of eBay. It was 375 pound delivered. Um, the point of this video is I normally wouldn't buy something like this for what I'm doing but I'm kind of desperate I need a replacement cylinder head I can't find a decent second one I can't find a second hand one at a reasonable price so it's a long complicated story I'm not going to go into but at the end of the day this is where I am now I've gone through lots of different avenues of trying to get this 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 and this and this and this and this is my last case result of what I'm going to do. So I'm going to unbox this cylinder head and I'm going to have a look at it. I'm going to inspect it. I'm going to see what it looks like quality wise. <clears throat> I'm not quite sure where this video is going to go at this particular point, whether I'm just going to do an unboxing video and then that's going to be it and I'm going to upload it. But this is part of a, of a larger product. Uh, this is part of a larger project. So I need to rebuild this cylinder head because you can buy them from certain suppliers with valves with springs with cams with everything in them but i chose not to do that i chose to buy a bare cylinder head so basically similar to what we've got down here on the floor which is the old one which is which is damaged um i've got to rebuild it with my old valves and springs and etc so the long-term process for this is I need to obviously lap in all of these valves into this cylinder head, put the valves in. But the first thing I want to do, which I may do in this video, I probably will do that in this video, is I want to put the cams in on their own um, without any springs or valves, assemble it as, as it should be, bolt it and see whether they spin nice and smooth. Because if they don't, then the casting on this is totally crap and it's no good for no one and it will be going back so that's the first thing i need to do but the long-term project the long-term sort of process is that this head will be rebuilt and it will be put on the car and ran um, the car did run um, it had an original problem with um, the timing chain had slipped common problem i put a new chain on it it ran perfect but it was very tappy problem with the old head anyway Let's get you on a stand, we'll unbox this, we'll have a good look at it and we'll see what the quality is like because people say, oh, they're terrible, 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 but there's no actual evidence. <laughs> people say, but there's no actual evidence. No one has actually said, look, this is crap. Look at this. This is what's happened. There's no evidence that these are crap. I've heard stories, but no evidence. Anyway. Right, <clears throat> here we go. It looks good from a, from a distance. Um, of course, everything's going to look good when it's brand new. 
uh, or different when it's brand new. I'm just looking just to see if I can spot anything obvious that's going to affect. I want to be disappointed. I'm, I'm expected to be disappointed that something's going to be wrong. Why? Because everything now is made in China, isn't it? I mean, it looks it looks okay. We've got the valve guides in. They've even done this, which is standard on these heads. This looks nice. I mean, I haven't got a brand new one, a, a, a VW one to compare it to, obviously. for a little bit of a closer look. So I'm going to go and grab a, um, and we'll buzz these off. But all the mating surfaces all look really good. Valve guides, I mean, these look nice. You know, they've obviously been line board, there's no edges, there's no you know, I'm fully expecting that, you know, there's a little bit of a, you know, a rough edge on here. I just need to, you know, this is quite sharp here. But I can't see how that would affect anything. I mean, I'll probably have to give a good blowout of air just to make sure there's nothing in it. Everything looks nice. Feels nice. Went in perfect. So I've lubed up me, um, put some assembly lube on all my cam journals and my cam carrier top thing. And I've got my cams here. Let's uh, put a few bolts in. Beautiful. It's beautiful. I mean, that's just lovely. Smooth. Yeah. I mean, there you go, really. 
I mean, you can see that on there, can't you? You can see that on there. It's just beautiful. It's beautiful. Beautiful. So there you go. Put the cams in and it turns beautifully. Um, there's nothing wrong with that. So there's sort of one of my fears alleviated. So what I've got to do now is obviously take this back off, take the cams out. I've got to clean up all of the um, old valves um, and basically lap all the valves in. Uh, I have done a video, um, if I remember, I'll put a thing up here to how to lap in valves and all that stuff on one of these heads. Not that it's any different from any others. Thanks for watching and I hope you found it interesting. Please like, subscribe and comment. Um, like the channel, really helps. Uh, view my playlist, I've got loads of stuff on broken cars and videos and bits and pieces and helpful tips and hints. 